I am here with Brandon Rosamano. And today I'm going to take Brandon through a kettlebell uh, technique, form and technique. What is your experience with kettlebells? Uh, that I pick them up at the gym sometimes and I'm like, ooh, that's probably a bad idea. So I want to work on my form and I have a weak lower back because of my mild scoliosis. I want to see how we can use this to help out my back. Okay. If I possible. Maybe. Okay. Let's see where we get. Okay. So my objective here is um, to teach you how to perform some um, kettlebell exercises correctly. Okay. So I'm going to explain the exercise, I'm going to demonstrate, then I'm going to get you to do some body weight movements, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the first thing I am going to do, and then just see where we get today. Mm -hmm. So the whole objective is to see if we can get Brandon to do a perfect swing mm. it, within an hour. Or maybe we can even get to a snatch. Have you seen a snatch before? No. Kettlebell snatch? No. Okay, so he's never done one, he hasn't seen it. But you have seen the kettlebell swing? The thing like this. Yeah, yeah. So that there, <laughs> bad form. that is bad form. And that's exactly <laughs> what we're talking about. We're going to fix that. Uh. And that's good because. Um, that's what I liked. I've always wanted to have somebody here that uh, has no experience at all. So really, uh, what I'm going to do first is, um, have you uh, done a deadlift before with just a normal weight, like a barbell or something, a deadlift? Mm -hmm. Yes, but I'm not comfortable doing them. No? Without someone showing me, no. Okay, okay. Yeah. So just from your own knowledge, show me what is a deadlift with a hip hinge. It's the thing where they lift it up, like this. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> we really got a challenge on our hands here. Great. That's great. Okay, I like it. Okay, so I'm just going to start at the beginning and I'm going to show you a, a, a hip hinge deadlift. So first of all, a deadlift, a lot of people think that a deadlift is just one movement, mm -hmm. but it's not. A deadlift just means deadlifting a, or lifting a weight that's dead. Uh -huh. So. Right here, this weight is dead. I'm lifting it. Suitcase deadlift. Oh, right here. Deadlift. Yeah. Oh. Right here, this is a deadlift with a hip hinge. Well, then I do that every day at the gym, technically. Yeah? yeah. Okay, if you do it correct, yes. This is a deadlift with a squat. Uh -huh. So, that's the first thing I want you to know that a deadlift just means lifting a weight that's dead. But then you got certain movements. And the movement that we're going to lift it with is a hip hinge. Now, do you know what a hip hinge is? Uh, burpees, if you put your hands in your pockets again. Uh, <laughs> burpees, if you put your hands in your pockets again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Like. <laughs> burpees, I'll show you. Here, this that, is a burpee. That I know. Yes, that I know. <laughs> if you put your hands in your pockets again, uh. we get burpees. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was joking. Not. <laughs> hip hinge. Okay, okay. hip hinge. Show me what a hip hinge is, if you know it. I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Hip hinge is basically hinging at the hips. So I'll demonstrate and then we'll get you to do it. You can do it with two joints, with the hips. So this is a stiff-legged hip hinge. Right here. Okay, so just one joint. Now watch two joints. Knees and hips. So my knees are bending, my hips are bending, my hips are going back and down. Yeah, my back stays straight. So that's key number one, back straight the whole time. Okay, I'll do it a few more times. Then I'm gonna get you to do it, the hip hinge with two joints, okay? So I just want you to know that a hip hinge can be stiff-legged. I'm just gonna show it side on for the camera. Stiff-legged, which means no knees, and it can be with two joints, which is the conventional hip hinge which is the knees and the hips. Okay, I'll show that one more time, side on, and then it's your turn. So watch my neck as well. So just focus first and then I'll get you to do it. My spine stays aligned with the rest of my back. I break at the hips, I break at the knees, my ankles do not move, my hips go back, I feel the stretch here. Right, okay. I just got to here, now I'm looking at the ground. Now I'm looking ahead. I'll do that five more times and then we'll get you to do it. So, hinge. Two 
two more. One more. So I'm basically folding at two joints. Your turn. First feet under the hips. There we go. Maybe just a little bit wider. There we go. Comfortable. Break at two joints and push your hips back and down. So and shoulders to yep, folding. Like this. Keep the back straight. Yep. That's it. Keep folding. Mm -hmm. Keep folding. Push the hips back and down. That's it. Really push the chest out. There we go. Now up. There we go. Keep the spine neutral. Stand up straight. Okay. Good. Okay. Just let the arms hang. Okay. There we go. Okay. Do that again, please. Uh, bend the knees. Bend the knees. Keep looking here, 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 here. Keep the back straight. Push the chest out. Right there. Stand there for a second. <coughs> Relax the arms. There we go. Push the hips forward. And stand up. There we go. And do it again. Oh. Keep repeating. Yeah. There we go. That looks better. Head down a bit. There we go. Right there. Good. Back up. And back into it. Straight. Arms relaxed. Let's get back into it. Uh, Bend the two joints, the hip hinge. Here? Yeah, but not the ankles. Oh. There we go. Shoulders forward, down, 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 down. That's it. Back up. Let the arms hang. Good. And again. Don't move the ankles. Okay. Back up. Stand back up. Okay, just a step in the middle there and keep facing that way. That's it. Feet a little bit wider and let's do that again. Okay. Uh, Bend at two joints, yeah. knees, hips, head down, head down, keep it in line and stop there, stop there. Back up and back down and back up. Don't look at one point there. Oh. Don't look at one point. Okay. Hold your hand here for a second and now follow your hand. Look at your hand. Look at your hand. Don't look at that point. There we go. Now see how your neck corrects. Back up. Keep your hand there and follow the hand. Back down. And again. Give me two more. And when you feel like you, your neck is going to stay there, put the hand down. That's it. Okay. All right. That's good. You can stand back there again. So that is a hip hinge, okay? So that's just body weight. You, you're breaking at your hips and your knees and your shins stay vertical. Watch how they're, they're not staying vertical if I bent my ankles, okay? So the ankles are not involved in a hip hinge. Uh, three joints is a squat. That's squatting. Right, and a squat. Yeah, so, hey, I can deadlift with a squat, but it's a squat deadlift, mm -hmm. okay? And that's not what we're doing we are gonna work our way up to a hip hinge deadlift. Okay, so we're gonna do that five more times now, and then I'm gonna put the weight there, and then I'm gonna ask you to do this. I'll demonstrate first for you. So you're doing five of these. Wait, just watch me first. Breathe in. Breathe out. Five of these, and then on the fifth one, you pick up the weight here and you go and down and back up, okay? Now, the key here is that you know what, you, what muscles you're gonna lift with. So I'll just talk a bit about the muscles. You might not remember it, but maybe it will um, uh, ring a bell. Your gluteus, uh, your gluteus maximus, minimus, and medius, they're all here. So your gluteus maximus is uh, at the top of your pelvis and then connected to your femur right here, okay? So if that muscle contracts, it pulls your pelvis up, okay? And then your hamstrings are connected to the bottom of your pelvis. If that contracts right now, it pulls the bottom of the pelvis up. So why am I telling you this? Because these are the muscles that are gonna pull your hips up your hip extensors, okay? So those are the muscles that you should feel and not your back. Right, so, so I shouldn't be feeling it up here. I should feel it here. Yeah, the prime movers, yeah. which are the muscles that make the movement, yeah. you should be feeling, yes. But now your back is also working because your back needs to remain straight. Ah, yeah. So if there is a weight here and uh, it's just hanging there and 
you, you're not uh, engaging your erector spinae, which is a group of muscle groups, which keeps your spine erect. If you're not engaging those, then you get this around the back. Mm -hmm. So you are working your back, mm -hmm. but isometrically. So they, they remain contracted, all these muscles. So they're the resistance against this? Yes. Okay. This is the resistance against that, okay. yes. Okay. Yeah. So once again, it's good to know that all these muscles here in your back need to remain contracted and these muscles here in your legs are going to do the work okay so we're going to do five of these just to get the movement remember spine straight you're going to break at two joints not the uh, ankles you do five of those and then on your sixth go you grab the weight and you go fully upright and down don't be scared to make noise uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm not holding my breath I'm <coughs> pushing out the weight uh -huh. which creates tension on the inside which is good to keep your spine safe mm -hmm. okay so tension here is good to keep your spine safe okay so assume the hip hinge do I, let's do it here so that you're in the middle assume a good stance a little bit wider there we go okay so do five, that's it, good, focus on the back, that's it, good, back up, squeeze the glutes, abs on, that's two, here we go, and squeeze, that's three, think about the glutes squeezing, hamstrings squeezing, you duck the magnus on the inside, we do two more, and then we're going to lift the weight, there we go, one more, one more body weight, that's looking good, let those arms hang, there we go, and now we're going to lift, same form and technique, come on, let's go down and lift, <sighs> hips forward, good, let that arm hang, let the arms hang, there we go, hips forward, fully forward, so stop, 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 push, push against the, there we go, that, now we go down, and release the weight, all the way to the ground and stand up good do that three more times here we go dead lift it up looking good remember the spine don't look at one point that's it release and stand up good that's looking good already two more full extension let the arms hang there we go and back up and last one so as you stand erect i want that chest out and just let the arms hang don't hold the weight away from you right there that's what i want good back down so that's good already you can move back please so you just learned good form and technique for the hip hinge deadlift you feeling okay yeah yeah no pain anywhere i feel here a little bit of tightness. Tightness. Because this is weak. Okay, but yes. I felt it here, yeah. and here, and a little bit here. Okay. And then here, of course. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So right now you feel tight. Yeah. There. <sighs> Relax it. Well, Breathe. I was in the gym before, so. Okay, what did you do? I did um, back here, and then I did arms. So. Okay, yes. all right. So if, if there's any pains and aches later, it's not my fault, right? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. All right, the next thing, what we're going to do. First thing, I'm going to show you what an actual swing looks like. So there are many ways to swing the kettlebell. You can do it with a, a squat movement, with a hip hinge movement, with a pendulum swing, etc. I'm just going to stick to the uh, hip hinge swing, which is what we just did. We did a hip hinge, right? We deadlift it with a hip hinge. So I'm going to swing with a hip hinge. So, I'll do it side on so you can see it first and then I'll do it side on to the camera, okay? And just try and focus on some of the, the things that you see and then uh, I'll talk about it later. On, so you can see it front on. All 
All right, so a swing is like a deadlift movement, a hip hinge deadlift movement, but faster, right? Because mm -hmm. at first when we're dead, uh, deadlifting, we're just going down, yes. uh, slow. Yeah. But this is a ballistic movement, a ballistic. Do you know what ballistics are? You power something and it just goes. Yeah. So insert, mm -hmm. pull, pull it out. I pull it out. There's the last one in your body that go. That's it. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> okay, so that's the main difference right here. That uh, the hip hinge deadlift, you're lifting it slow. Mm -hmm. You're lifting. With the swing, the kettlebell swing, the hip hinge kettlebell swing, we are using power. Power equals speed and strength. So as fast as possible, pull it out and stand up straight. So with your deadlift, you'd be here, right here, at the, the top with the swing, you'll be here. Okay, that, that's right, right here. Pull the lats down, let's do this together. Pull the lats down, here, chest out. There we go, keep the fingers, uh, hands closer together. That's it. Okay, now let the weight drop. Drop, 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 drop. Okay, keep it there. Do you feel your uh, triceps touching your lats or your chest right here? I feel this. You feel something connecting here, yeah. right? Now you know that it's time to hinge at the hips. So now perform the hinge and let the arms Follow through, hinge, hinge, knees, 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 back straight. There we go, oh, good, and now push the arms through. Good, now pull it out. There we go, lats on, chest out. This is important at the top, wait, wait, wait. So you're making the mistake that a lot of people do and they follow the weight. So the weight comes down and then they go and hinge. What does that do? Right here, the weight is going there, oh, and it puts too much pressure on your back. That's exactly right. Yeah. So that's why I said here, mm -hmm. drop, 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 drop. Weight, weight, weight. Extend the hips. Yeah. Extend, not extend. That's a flexion. Uh -huh. So flexion, yeah. extension. Uh -huh. Extend. There we go. There we go. Drop, 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 drop. Now hinge, uh -huh. and insert. Uh -huh. Hello, and welcome to Kettlebell Fundamentals, an online kettlebell course for at-home users and trainers. This course will teach you how to work with the kettlebell. It covers all the fundamentals. This is all the stuff that everybody needs to know if they want to get into kettlebell training. If you want to apply the training to yourself or if you are teaching somebody else, these are all the things that you need to know. On this layer, you can build the rest of your kettlebell training. So you need to have the fundamentals before you do things like snatches, windmills, other complex stuff. There is a set of things that you need to know and this course covers that. The course comes with a book, it comes with videos, and it comes with exams if you're going for the certification. If you don't want a certificate at the end of the course that says that you are certified in the swing, in all the other basics that we cover, then you can choose the at-home version, which 
includes the same material, but it does not include an exam, physical exams and assessments and coaching. The certification does. So decide what you want to do, whether you want to get certified in kettlebell training fundamentals or whether you want to do this at home with the same material but not provide the physical assessments or receive coaching. So with the certificate, there are certain things that you need to meet. You need to meet the exact technique that we're teaching you. And you've got plenty of time to go through that. You're learning step by step and submitting your assessments. You will get feedback from your assessor and you will work with that feedback to improve and then resubmit your assessments and work your way up. There are also exams that you need to pass. They're online and they're open book. All in all, at the end of this course, you will be able to swing, you will be able to squat, you will be able to clean, you will be able to press, and you will be able to row. And you will even be able to put all that together to design a little workout. Good, and back up. Let's uh, face me and let's do that. On your own. Uh, uh, hands closer together. Here. The weight is dropping. Here, here, here. Stop. Here. And now hinge and insert. Let's break this down into three parts. So three parts. Okay. Out. Down, 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 down. It's dropping, it's dropping. Stop. That's part one. Now hinge. Down, 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 down. Stop. That's part two. Now insert. That's part three. Now connect the arms. There we go. Right there. That's it. Good. Now that's perfect right there. Your uh, ankles might be a bit too close together. Your heels might be a bit too close together. There we go. Now extend the hips and knees. Good. Look at that. Perfect. This is what I want to see when you start using weight. Let's do this five times. Weight is dropping. Dropping, drop, 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 drop. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Insert, insert weight and out, 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 out. Good, let's go again. Drop, 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 drop. Ah, 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 way too early, way too early, too early. Drop, 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 drop. Hinge, insert, good, out. Let's do two more. Drop, 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 drop. Hinge, insert, arms connected. So up higher, stop, come back in, in position, please. Arms connected, they have to connect. Okay, out, 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 out. Drop, 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 drop. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Insert, connect, pull out. Perfect, love it. You're gonna do well, I love it. <laughs> Don't disappoint me. <laughs> okay, before uh, we uh, start adding weight, I'm gonna show you something else. A lot of people make a mistake, which is kind of what you made in the beginning when you uh, thought you were demonstrating a swing to me, mm -hmm. what you've seen, which is like this. Like a monkey. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people think um, that it's um, a shoulder raise. So they think that the weight is raised with the shoulder. It's mm -hmm. not. It's all uh, powered by the legs. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you a few things uh, to avoid that. And they start involving the ankles as well. This is not a bad thing if we're doing a different movement for the swing, but we're not because we're doing a specific swing, the hip hinge swing. Mm -hmm. So we want to see a hip hinge. So first thing I'm going to do is to show you what it's like to keep those arms loose. So I'm going to do this with you uh, in a bit, but first I'm going to get you to do it to me. I want you to stand in front of me and push this weight through. Push it through my legs. Just with one arm, push. Faster and let go, let go. Push again and let go. That's it and again. Push, keep pushing. That's it and again. That's it and again. That's it and stop. Okay, so I'm gonna do that to you. Why am I doing that? To show you how those uh, shoulders need to remain loose the whole time, okay? If that weight stops, it means that you're using your shoulders Okay, plus I want to see at the bottom of this here, 
that you are able to hold this weight, that you are able to hold mm. your back straight. My lower back is weak, so that'll be a target. Yeah, uh, if you can't hold it, mm. then we probably should not progress to different things. Okay. So let's see what we can do. So I'm going to give you the lightest weight, which is 12. Yeah, okay. So I'll demonstrate it one more time. Mm -hmm. I want you to lift this weight up like this and stop here. And then I'll come and I'll push it. Okay? okay. Here we go. Like this, straight. That's it. Okay, and then hinge at the knees. Okay. That's it. Lift it slightly up a bit and stop. That's it. Three, two, one, and down. Okay. Did that feel all right? I felt it here. You felt it there. Here and here. Yeah. Okay. So really push that chest out and work those muscles at the back. Have you ever seen what the muscles look like at the back? On the picture, yeah. On the picture, good. <laughs> they run all the way from uh, down here from your hips all the way up, uh, your erector spinae, mm -hmm. lots of muscles that hold you back up. So try this, push that chest out and down, the shoulder blades down, pull them down and together. Um, okay, come here a second. I'm going to put my finger here mm -hmm. and pull your shoulder blades towards there. That's it. Okay, that's kind of what you want to feel. You can relax and turn around. That's kind of what you want to feel at the bottom here. Okay, uh -huh. so what's the difference? See the difference? All right. Also at the top here. If I don't do that, see the difference here? Mm -hmm. My shoulders come out here, they're back. Mm -hmm. So that's important, these two, two things. So, here's what we do. We're going to do this one more time. You're going to deadlift it up slightly, stay in that position, and come a little bit wider with the feet. I'm going to push it through, and you pull it back a little bit so that you're connecting here, that's all, and then let go and, and let it swing here. Relax. I push. You push it through and connect here. You let go, relax, like a pendulum. Yeah? All right. Here we go. Take your time. Good. Stay there. Maybe a little bit higher. There we go. Oop. Lower with the shoulders. Lower with the shoulders. There we go. And push it through. Two, one, and down. Okay. We need to make sure that uh, we come to a point where the weight is here, your arms are here. So if that this far in or low, it means that you've hinged too deep, too deep basically. So this is where we want to be, right here. Okay. So let's do that without the weight and uh, just hinge and push the arms through. There we go. I'm just going to have a look. Shoulders up. There we go. Look at that. That's it. That's where we want to be, right there. That's a good position. The knees can come back a bit. Ooh. Yeah, all right. That, you can come up. So that might be something you have to work on over time, okay? So it's not a bad thing if those knees come forward a bit mm. and uh, it could be uh, hamstring flexibility that's lacking. It's for sure. Yeah, but yeah. When you push it back, I felt it here. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so that's something over time you will be able to keep those uh, shins vertical. Okay, uh, you can move back a bit. What I'm going to get you to do now is to do just one swing. That's what we're going to work towards, okay? But before we do that, we work on the pullback. So I'll demonstrate. Also called the hike back. Here's what I'm going to do. The weight is just far enough for me so that I can pull it back. If I'm here, I can't pull the weight back, right? Mm -hmm. So I need to have enough space so I can pull it back, okay? Mm -hmm. But I also want to make sure that my shoulders are not coming below my hips ever, mm -hmm. okay? So I need to find the right space where uh, it's just far enough where my hips remain under my shoulders. So this is it for me. Here's what we're going to do with you. And it looks like this. 
Just pull back. Here's what happens. I pull back and my shoulders come up slightly. I'm not standing up. My arms connect. Then the weight stops. The weight comes back down. Watch how my shoulders got down again and my hips got down a bit. And I'm coming back to the same position. I'll demonstrate one more time from this side. Okay? Mm. You think you can do that? I'll try. All right. Let's put the weight in a position and then do two without uh, using the weight. But you're touching the weight and you're coming back. That's it. And that's it. I, ca I call it air kettlebells. That's it. That's it. Perfect. Maybe not that high. Yeah, oh. that's it. Good, stand up and relax the back. Then do one and pause. Don't keep doing them. It's better to break it down. Just do one good one. And back, yeah, that's all right. That was your first time doing it. Here we go, and again. Yeah, much better, and pause and stop and just reset. Okay. Make sure that you get a bit of tension between you and the bell before you pull. So we're here. Now I got a bit of tension between me and the bell and pull. Okay, so rather than starting here and going already. Okay, let's do that again. One rep at a time. So it's better to break it down and do one rep at a time than multiple reps without focus. Yeah. Here we go. Yep. Good. Give me two more. Okay, relax. If you can, try not to sit back too much and get the hips a bit higher. Maybe that helps from uh, un unbalanced, from being unbalanced. This is so tight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it one more time. Here we go. Give me two of those. Okay. Pull back. Yeah, that's it. Good. Good. All right. We got that. So that's starting from dead. So the weight is dead. And that's how we start with the swing. Okay. Now we're going to add up, uh, to it. We're going to build it up. I'm going to uh, pull back and do one swing. Okay. Watch. And I, I let go and I relax and I think about what I'm going to do again. Okay? Set it up good. Pull back. Swing. It comes back the same way it came up. Okay? So we're just going to add this. You pull back. You stand up. Wait, 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 wait. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Through the legs. Back where it came from. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> If you want, do a few more of the first no, drill. Okay. okay, just take so, your time. So like this. Down. Do the first drill first. Yeah, don't come too deep, uh, too low with the shoulders. And you stand up at the top, chest out. Let's stop, 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 chest out. There we go. Okay, so. Not too low with the shoulders, that's it. Okay, stay, stay, stay there. Hips forward. Drop, 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 drop. Yeah, but, but no, 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 I didn't say anything yet. Drop, 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 drop. Hinge, 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 insert. And down to where it was. Ah. There we go. Pull back. Yeah, no, 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 with the uh, air kettlebells. There we go. And extend. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Stay there, stay there. Stay in extension. Drop, drop, drop. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Insert. Back where it is. There we go. Now what you're going to do is pull back and put it back down and then pull back and stand up and then let it go back down. Does that make sense? Stop. That was too low. So your arms did not connect. So you didn't pull it back far enough. So what you did was you pulled it here. See how the space is here? 
Here's the difference. So pull back, not violently. Keep the back straight. So let's focus on the pull back for now. Keep the back straight, pull back. That's too low, too low. Too so low. you're coming too far through with, right. with, the, with the bell. Ah, okay. So we want to keep the shoulders up a bit higher. So don't, uh, let's get into that position without the weight. Stop and put the arms through. Yeah, right there. So imagine, uh, record this position for yourself. Push it through a bit if you can. There we go. Record that uh, feeling for yourself. Yeah, almost a bit, okay. bit higher. Okay, let's let's do this. One pull back, back down, and then pull back and swing it up. Focus. Too low, but let's let's do it. Let's do it anyway. Yeah, it's all right. Pull back and stand up powerfully. Okay, pull back. This. Back straight, back straight, there we go. Pull back and stand up powerful. Yeah, but now we're raising the yeah. arms. You know why? Yeah. Because there's not enough power with the legs. Ah. So now you're raising with the arms. Yeah. yeah. So put the weight down and relax a bit. So I'll demonstrate. If there is not enough power from the legs, ah. you are going to raise it with your arms. And how do we know that you're raising with the arms? Yeah. It's drooping. Yeah, the yeah. bell is drooping. Yeah. So what's the difference? <laughs> extension. Uh -huh. You see how it remains an extension uh -huh. of the arms? Uh -huh. Because it's powered with the legs, but now it's not, and you can see the bell drooping. Mm -hmm. So that's all shoulder work, okay? So I'm going to do uh, a demo of what I'd like you to do. Here we go. Okay, I'll, I'll do it a few more times. I got so it. Just watch. You got it? Well, I got what you're doing. It's can I do it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. You go. Okay, so here, back, back straight. Okay. That's it. And Pull back, not too low. Yeah. So I see what the problem is. Mm -hmm. So you're, the moment that weight comes off the ground, your mm -hmm. shoulders come down. Mm -hmm. And that brings this very low. Mm -hmm. So the moment that weight comes off the ground, you should be lifting your shoulders. Lift them just a little bit. Keep the back straight. Yes, there we go. Yep, and now swing. Yeah, swing. What do you mean? Well, stand up. Oh. Through the legs and stand up. Back down, back down. Let's do it again. Okay. Let's do it again. You're just thinking too much about it. Pull back. Power. And back down. Too low. Remember, shoulders up a bit. Yeah, and up. And back down. Good. And relax a bit. We don't want to burn your back out. So, I'll just demonstrate a few times, and then it's your turn again. So. The key is pull back and bring the shoulders up a bit. Mm -hmm. it, it's very important. And that weight has got to be here, not here. It, it, it's going to impact your lower back if you're that low. So a good form right here. Mm -hmm. Then once you're here, pull the shoulders up, pull your hips up. It will help if you're going to look up too. Okay, so here, and just bring the head up first, we can try that. So once you get to um, understand the movement, uh, I will say don't look up anymore like that. But once you're uh, beginning, it's okay to look up and let your uh, sight lead and then your body follow. Well, okay, but yeah? I got the movements, it's that I feel my lower back is weak, so I'm trying to compensate with my shoulders. Yeah, yeah. So how do I fix that? How do you fix that? Um, obviously, um, deadlifting helps. Mm. So here, mm. but it's not going to be fixed today, no, obviously. No, it'll take months. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this would help. Ah, okay. 
Okay. But uh, it's very important to be able to connect with the muscle. So, uh, what, what do I mean by that? You can make a movement with uh, not engaging the right muscles because we got many different muscles that help with one movement. Oh, yeah. so, so, let's say uh, your hip extensions. There's like uh, three, four, five different muscles that work there. But are you connecting with all of them? Are they all working? Are your hammies working? Mm -hmm. Are your glutes working? Is your adductor magnus working? You know? So uh, that's mind muscle connection. So that's very important too. Don't just make the movement. Feel those muscles. Uh, you can punch them. Punch them. Yeah, I know it's weird, but it's like, okay, that, that's where they are. I need to feel them. Here, hammies. Yeah. Hammies. Okay. They need to contract. Yeah? Your yeah. adductor magnus. Okay, and then extend and oh yeah, now I feel them all. I'm connecting with them all. So that will help, um, definitely. Okay, you want to try again? Have another go at it? Well, I think I can do the proper form as I showed you without the weight, but yeah. when I reach here, I'm having trouble doing it, I'm using my arms. Yeah, So just don't lift it up uh, further. Just let it come back down again. So, so let's say you only come to here. Mm -hmm which means you didn't have enough power with your legs. Don't lift with your arms, just let it fall back down, through and back to where it came from. And then as you do it more and more, all of a sudden that weight will come higher. Okay? So uh, let's keep going, unless you feel like your, your, your back is playing up. No, I'll keep going until I get hungry. So. Okay, well I'm already hungry. <laughs> okay. But focus. So first know what you're gonna do. Okay, so let's do body weight. You're touching, you're pulling back without the weight first. You're pulling back. No, yeah, that was your mistake already. You came with low with the shoulders, right here. Ah, okay, like this, like that. And right there, that's where we end up. Like this, not, not, not touch the weight. Okay, now slowly, bit by bit, don't rush, uh -huh. pull back, uh -huh. up, 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 up. Uh -huh. There we go, that's it. And down, down, that's it. Do this a few times, do this a few times. That's it. That's it. Good. And now grab the weight and do the same thing and put it back down. Good. Really pull it back a bit faster. That's it. And now you're going to swing. Go. Yep. Okay. <laughs> rest, rest, rest. That's okay. It's okay. So it's good to go body weight, body weight, and then grab it one turn. And then I'll say swing. So that means do the whole thing. Stand up. So you pull back and stand up. Yeah. But remember, if it only comes here, don't worry about it. Don't start racing it. Just let it fall back. Even if it just comes here, let it fall back. Just go with it, but with good form. So keeping your back straight, through the legs, and back to the ground. Yep. And now we're going to grab it and put it back down. Yep, and now you're going to swing it. Yeah, and let it come back down. But so stay extended, let it fall through, and then back down. Here we go. We're going straight into the next one. And down. Oh, then again. Yeah, oh. and again. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, we're getting better. Relax and, and stand up for a second. Stretch it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> but that was already better. We're almost there. We're almost there. I think it would help if I had less weight to get the proper form and then climb up. Uh, that's a yes and a no. Mm. You are uh, strong enough for this. Yeah. If you don't have enough weight, basically what happens is you don't have resistance uh. and you're not going to use your legs. Uh. So you need uh, this weight. Maybe 10. If we had a 10, we could have tried a 10. But if you go too low, you will shoulder raise basically. So you don't, you don't work on the right technique. You will just go, well, yeah, yeah I can do this. It's because it's light mm -hmm. and you're still not using your legs. Okay? I feel the legs in this. Yeah? I also feel this working very hard. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Power. We need power. Power. That's speed and, <laughs> and strength. Okay. Uh, let's see. I, I know what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Squat, jump. Do you know how to squat, jump? Uh. That's it. Give me five of those. That's enough. That's enough. Right. Okay. Make sure you pull your knees out as you do that. Pull your hips low and okay. here we go. Two more. Yes. Okay. So that, that's enough. Remember that power that you're using right here to get off the ground. It's the same thing that you got here. But you're just not coming off the ground. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's all here. Yeah. I know, I know. It, it, look, it ain't easy, you know. Uh, and don't feel bad about it if you're not going to get it today because that, that's just normal. Mm -hmm. it, it takes people uh, weeks to get the swing right. Mm -hmm. But um, let's see where we can get anyway. Uh -huh. For as long as you're not uh, down on the ground dying in pain, let's keep going. <laughs> the only thing to get you on the ground in pain is to do 100 burpees and then lunges one after another. Like you yeah. did in high school, burpee the lunge, burpee the lunge, then run 100 meters, come back. Okay. Oh, that was tough. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe it. All right, let, let's do this. Okay. We're gonna pull back and do the swing straight away. Let's try something different. Pull back and up straight away, and then let it fall back through the legs, through the legs and down. Look at that, stop and, and reset. And let's do that again. That was good. Pull back with power and up, and let it come through the leg. Yes, and reset. We're almost there. Uh, <laughs> but I'm feeling it a lot here. Should I be feeling it here? Uh, no, uh, no, no, no. So um, maybe you are fatigued from what you did today. Maybe uh, you're not engaging all the other muscles and really engaging this more. Mm -hmm. Maybe relax it a little I bit. Feel, feel it here. Yeah. I feel it here, but I, here is where it feels like it's working the hardest. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, are you talking about here? Yes, there, there. Right there. Okay. Yeah. The, um, is it on the inside or is it at the top? The superficial? Yeah. Superficial. So it's part of your erector spinae, mm -hmm. basically. Okay. If you can keep going, let's have another go at it. Make sure that you're tensing everything else off your back as well. Yeah, and back down. Good. I'm just going to stand on the other side to see if I can see anything with the back. Yeah, and more. So stop, and you need to come up faster. So come up faster. Really let those shoulders come up and lead. But so if I do that, I feel like then this, I'm engaging this. Uh, what do you mean, like uh, pulling it up? If I go faster, I feel like I need this to bring it up. Mm, okay. No, 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 no. Yep, and look at that, good. And relax, that looked good. Let's keep going. Yep, and stop, and stop. So I do see you're still mm. racing a little bit. Mm. Um, let's try and avoid that. Mm -hmm. Just come wherever the bell comes, okay? So don't race it. So however po much power you generate with your legs, if that's here, don't try and go higher. Yep, that's it, and back down. And again. Yep. Come up faster with those hips. Remember the squat jump. Squeeze those glutes. Yes. And stop. Good. Relax a bit. Now that look good. That look good. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're almost there. All right. Let's do two in a row. Two in a row. Two? Yeah. Am I getting paid overtime for that? <laughs> okay. Chest out, back straight. Pull back, stand up, to the legs, and again. Good, stop. Yeah, so the second one got a bit sloppy, not full extension, yeah. etc. So it's good to break it down. Okay, uh, one thing we're gonna try now is rather than going back to dead, right. is going straight into another swing. I'll show you. Okay. All right, so like I said, we are gonna change it up a bit and see how we go there. This, I'll demonstrate first, just watch, and then it's your turn. So, I'm gonna pull it back. 
watch my shoulders come up a bit, I stand up, drop, 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 hinge, 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 insert, and back up again. See the difference? So we're not going down to the ground, we're going through the legs, connecting those arms, so those arms connect because I stay in extension, where does the weight go? It comes back in, because I stay here, but the weight will come back in. If I follow, where does the weight go? It, it goes there. Yeah. Okay, and then I come very low. Yeah, and then it's pressure on your back. That's exactly right. So remember, very important. Mm -hmm. Back, connect, extend, weight, 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 weight. You feel this connect here, and then it's hinge, 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 and insert. Now, it's easy to break it down when we're doing it with no weight and we're doing it step by step. So, it's gonna take a while to probably, uh, yeah. for it to register. Easier said than done for our first time. That's right. Okay. I'll demonstrate one more time yeah. and then it's your turn. Okay. Your turn. Take your time, focus, know what you gotta do, chest out. Up again. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Up again. And down. Good. Relax. Stay there. Stay there. At the top. Get that chest out. And get those hips forward. Yep. And up again. Good. And down. Good. 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 Relax. Power. Power. Oh. It helps if you go. I know it might sound weird, but if you just go, breathe out, it feels like, wow, powerful. All right, let's, let's do this again. Same thing. Without the noises subjective, okay. Chest out, and again, yes, good. A bit more speed, a bit more speed. Like a roller coaster, right? All right. Yeah. All right. Yep, up, good, and down. Beautiful. Now that is a seven and a half. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> All right, let's do that again, but this time we're gonna do three swings, okay? Three? Three swings. All right, just focus. When you're ready. One, two, three. I'll count, I'll count. No, no. <laughs> Chest out, pull back, stand up straight. One two, three, and down. Good, good. So, that is very good. You, you got more speed behind it now, and there's no shoulder raising. Your um, form is good, like uh, it's very much well, a hip a hitch. Forward, but yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. normal because you're very tight and okay. you're just getting uh, started, so uh, it's pretty good. Uh, you, you're coming a little bit low still. Mm -hmm. um, need to wait. With so don't follow the kettlebell is what I call it. Mm -hmm. So as that weight comes down, people want to follow it straight away. Don't follow the kettlebell. So think to yourself, let it fall, 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 fall. And then engage and then bring it. Yeah, like I, I feel my triceps connect to my lats here, but uh, you've got to think so about something else. When it's here, gravity, 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 engage, pull it. Yeah, and then uh, okay. engage uh, as in like hinge. Mm -hmm. Hinge, 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 and then here, insert, insert. So, what am I doing? What do I mean by insert? I'm directing the weight to the back. I'm directing it to the back. So, directing it. Uh, maybe this looks a little bit deeper than I would go with. Uh, but at what point do I stop, stop the gravity from doing its thing and then engage it forward? Here. Right there. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Stand up, stand up. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Now is the time to hinge at the hips and uh, there we go. That's it. So remember, we break it down in three phases. Gravity, gravity, gravity. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Now it's like it's in line with my knees. Now I gotta insert the weight. So there's some of this happening here. Yeah? So here's where I actually put the Yeah. Push it, push it in. Yeah. Don't just let it uh, come against your body. Mm. Like, here's the difference. I'll show you what that looks like. 
when you just let it uh, let your body stop it i'll show you oh i see that you're letting the weight swing yeah it's called bobbing mm -hmm. so my body stops the weight yeah. and that weight wants to keep going uh -huh. so then you get the bobbing now what's the difference it's called the neutral Now bobbing, see, yeah. and then you see that bell, bell come up, there's friction in your hands, uh -huh. etc. It's not nice. That's why I say um, insert the weight, direct it to the back. Then as you direct it to the back, at some stage it will stop and you pull it back out. All this is a split second. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do this. Give me three swings with speed behind it. One. Full extension, one more, and down. You got me four, one bonus. <laughs> Fine. That's good, that's good. So you're still coming a, a little bit low, mm -hmm. which can be because you're following it, mm -hmm. and it can be because you're bending at the ankles a bit. And bending. But yeah. look, yeah. this is a good swing for somebody that's, how long have we been here? An hour, yeah. half an hour? Yeah. There you go. I've been in the gym for seven years. <laughs> I've never touched one. <laughs> That's brilliant. So it's good for what we've uh, achieved here. Now, if you want, we can do a few more and work on it. Or if you feel like, hey, my back is starting to feel it. Well, That's it. I don't know if it's a different lesson, but I want you to show me, if you can, how to do the deadlift properly with this. The, the one like this. So yeah. Yes. But we, we did that in the beginning. That's the hip hinge, deadlift. No, not that. The one where we're straight down. Where we're straight? Straight down, like the one like this, yes? Yeah. Proper, the proper lift, deadlift, with just without the swing. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll demonstrate. Mm -hmm. So you want to place it where, if at the bottom your arms are just hanging, that's where the weight is. Okay, so, mm -hmm. okay. So I don't want to be reaching through mm -hmm. the legs. I don't want to be reaching here because I'm li gonna lift it. Right. It needs to be right under the shoulder. Uh -huh. So breaking at two joints, the knees and the hips, uh -huh. looking at the ground here, feeling the tension here, uh -huh. squeeze, and just let the arms hang, chest out, uh -huh. and knees are straight, hips are straight. I'm pushing my chest out by uh, squeezing my shoulder blades slightly together and down, and that's it. And I break it two joints again. It's exactly what we've been doing, really. The same thing, but it's just, you're working the same muscles, it's the same movement, but it's just a lift instead of a ballistic swing, which is speed. So let's have a go at it. Here. That's yeah. it. Like this? Yeah, and just stop there for a second. If you can, push the knees back a bit. There we go. Chest out. There we go. Look here. Okay. That's it. And now squeeze the glutes and full extension. So hips forward. Oh. Okay. There we go. That's it. Let the arms hang. Chest out. Yeah. That's it. Now lifting with the arms. Okay. All right. Break it two joints, knees and hips. Look here, that's it, and down, knees back, chest out, that's it, good. There we go, knees back, take your time, good. Look here, good, knees back, there you go, and that's it. Okay, all right, let me try this one again. All right. Three or four? Whatever you feel like. Put it down when you feel like uh, it's too much. Back straight. Speed. Yeah. Weight at the top. Remember to weight at the top. Yep, that's it. Good. Remember, fall, fall, fall. And stay in the extension. That's it. So that's about the only thing that you need to fix. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good.